hello guys welcome back to my channel if you are older thanks and if you are new here please kindly subscribe and turn on the notification bell to get notified anytime i upload a new video in this tutorial i'm going to show you how to design a church flyer using adobe photoshop so without any further ado let's get started then go to file on the menu then make use of 8 by 8 inches and use ROGB for social media posts. Then your resolution should be at 300. These are the tests I'm going to use and the fonts. So all are here. So copy the color code, then go to your solid color, Ctrl plus V to paste. Then create a new layer, select your brush tool, then change the color you are going to apply here, make it white. Now increase the font size. Then apply to it and change the blending mode to color dodge. Over here is the resources we are going to use, then import this background here. Then take it up. Okay. Then change the blending mode to soft light. Apply your layer mask. Select your gradient to ensure this color is black and white. Then you blend it. Okay. Now scale it out. Then go to your test tool to copy copy the church name import the church logo right click to rasterize it select your magic tool ctrl plus d to deselect reduce the size Take it up over here. Then select your test tool. Go to your font and change the font. We are going to use the font poppins. Use poppins regular. Then Ctrl plus V to paste. Then reduce the font size and then adjust it. Okay. Then duplicate it. Copy your test. Select your test tool. Now, highlight it, Ctrl plus A to highlight, Ctrl plus V to paste. Then increase the character spacing by 560%. Then go to select on the menu, then you click on all. Apply vertical alignment to centralize it. Then Ctrl plus D to deselect. Then go to your test and make a copy of this one. Ctrl plus C to copy. Select your test tool. Ctrl plus V to paste. Remove the character spacing by 0%. And this is the font you are going to use. So copy the fonts. 
go to your font over here then you paste it then select the everyone increase the font size then go to your test inferts and then we are going to apply this style follow the setting here go to the bevel and emboss then use the setting here Then select contour and apply this contour over here. All right, we are good to go. Go back to your test effects here, then I reduce the character spacing by forty percent. It's okay. So there is no too much gap now. Then duplicate it by dragging it over there or you press Ctrl plus J. Now we are going to make a copy of this one. Hold your Shift key while you drag it down. Then highlight it, Ctrl plus A to highlight and Ctrl plus V to paste. You can now reduce, reduce the font size. Okay, now we are going to create a rectangle here. Change the color to red. And type these words here. Select the rectangle and we are going to skew it this way. Use your arrow key then to bring it close. Then rotate your test and drag it over here. Rotate it to fix it properly. You can now use your arrow to adjust it. Okay. Then we are going to change the fonts of that. Then use Apollo for the fonts. Increase the font size. Then change the font color to red. Then we are going to apply test effects. Then select drop shadow, adjust the setting, then click OK to apply it. Now reduce the font size and place it over here. All right. Now, 
import this one reduce the size rotate it okay then also import this one and reduce the size something like this okay then drag it back all right then change the bloody mode to color dodge and reduce the opacity to 41 percent apply your layer mask and blend the bottom here you go back to the background bring this brush then drag it down increase the size increase the size more to fit it in okay now import this image something like this is okay all right so the next things we are going to do now we are going to copy the name then apply white color and use the font poppins Then we are going to use semi bold control plus v to paste duplicate it then copy this one select your test tool control plus a to highlight it then control plus v to paste now then centralize it then reduce the font size then reposition it okay So now we are going to create a rectangle here. Something like this. Okay. Then copy this test here, Ctrl plus C to copy, then Ctrl plus V to paste. Remove the character spacing by 0%. Then rotate it and drag it over here. So now we are going to duplicate this one. Reduce the size so that another one can come in. 
then duplicate this one and then rotate it something like this now hold your shift key while you select it and increase the size all right then import this image reduce the size then read the clipping mask go to the second rectangle and import this image reduce the size the right click and create a clipping mask So okay, like this i want this part so that the trumpet can show very well then also reduce this one right click and create a clipping mask it's okay so now copy their names Select your test tool. Change the font color to black. So like this. Then Ctrl plus J to duplicate it then drag it to the second one come over to your test and make a copy of this one ctrl plus c to copy select your test to select and highlight it then ctrl plus v to paste adjust it Then we are going to duplicate this one also and drag this one to the last one then make a copy of your test ctrl plus c to copy then ctrl plus a to alight ctrl plus v to paste Then we are going to adjust it so we are going to increase the size of the tests a little all right so like this so the next thing now we are going to place it and time So here yeah, I'm going to change the color of this, then make it red. Then copy the date. Then change the font to impact and also change the font color to black. Then 
increase the font size then go back to your test and make a copy of this one Ctrl plus V to paste adjust it increase the size then make a duplicate of it and make a copy of this one select your test tool highlight it Ctrl plus A then Ctrl plus V to paste then align it together adjust this one okay hold your shift key while you select it then we are going to change the font color to red then draw a line here change the color to black then we are going to duplicate that one now move it to this side while holding your shift key highlight it and change the letter Then now import the location icon then make a copy of the location select your test to and change the font to poppins ctrl plus v to paste then reduce the space and adjust the test then make it medium rasterize it select your magic tool to apply it then go to select and go to modify then expand it by from two to five percent now we are going to change the color to red Then we are going to select uh, this one, increase the size and reposition it. Then come back to date and time, then increase the size. Also reposition it. Okay. Now group it together. It's all right.
then create a new layer then change the color to red select your brush reduce the brush size then apply this light effect over there and change the blending mode to overlay then we are going to increase the lights so you can see the effect over there then create another layer then i use your brush around here and change the blending mode to overlay then you will see the effect over there so now we create the third layer then change the color to yellow and now apply it over here and change the blending mode to any of this one that you see too. so now i use this saturation is okay all right so now import your light flare then position it around here and change the blending mode to screen then we are going to duplicate it Control plus J to duplicate. Then we bring this one over here. Then the last one we are going to copy the Thanksgiving test. Select your test tool. Then Ctrl plus V to paste. And we are going to change the fonts to Apollo. Then increase the font size. Somewhere here is okay. Then you drag it down. right so over here is okay so this is where our test is located then increase the font size all right so then apply drop shadow then adjust the size to 10% then the distance to 4% I mean 6% then and you leave the spread at 8% so something like this so now that is all about this tutorial thank you so much for following if you like this please kindly subscribe and turn on the notification bell and don't forget to share then if you need any of my flyer, then you can check in the link descriptions and go through my Fiverr account and make your order. Thank you so much for following. I really appreciate it.